Hey, Tony Kitty at RTT. Today I want to show a uh, product I got on eBay. Um, it's a little board here. It costs about 20 bucks. Um, there's some that are a little bit cheaper, they basically do the same thing, some are a little bit more expensive. But what it does um, is it, it tells you the values of components. Now you might be saying, oh, well, I've got an LCR meter and a um, multimeter that'll do that. Yep. But if you're like me and you have bags of, you know, surplus parts from, in my case, an old lab um, in class or something, it can be a real pain to use those meters to uh, quickly find uh, find out values. Plus, they, they don't easily work with all components. This thing will work with, um, let's see, resistors, capacitors, inductors, diodes, um, transistors, and uh, it'll even let you use like resistor networks or a pot, um, all that sort of thing. And it has a nice graphical display. And of course it's powered with a nine volt battery. So I'll go ahead and show it. So you just hook the power up. Um, like I said, there's different models. Some have this nice little uh, uh, test. Uh, I guess, I'm not sure exactly what they are. Like a little test thing for um, uh, like ICs. Um, in this case, this will not work with ICs. Actually, you see those numbers above there. Those are the different pinouts. So these pins are, are you know, connected to one also. So it does not work with any ICs. But let's go in here. I'll pull out the random part. Resistor here. And you just put it in. Two of them. Okay, I hit the button, it comes on. Testing. And there you go. Gives you the resistor value just like that. So it's got three pins. So resistor works just like that. Let's say we want to do a capacitor. Grab a capacitor from the bag. Same thing, put it in, close it down, turn it on, and wait a second, boom, faster, and uh, ESR even. So that's pretty handy. And let's uh, try, now let's see, I got, here's a transistor, I believe. No, nope. so of course it will not work with regulators. So here's a little LM317, but we can see what happens. Um, you put that in there. It'll usually give you a model of something else. So you see it takes much, much longer to test um, when it's not a standard component. Let me dig. So there you go, two diodes. Um, so. There's that. Um, here we go. Here's a transistor. So 3904. And of course, it doesn't matter which way you put the pins in there because it figures it out and graphs it. Um, and you'll see, it even gives you a little schematic symbol for the transistor. So it gives you the HFE, um, forward voltage. So it's really handy. Now, if, and you can tell, see, it's collector base emitter. If you turn the component around, oops. That's because I bumped it. So it'll change the pinout numbers accordingly. And uh, let's see, do I have any inductors hanging out around here? Doesn't look like I do. I've got a giant bag of uh, junk parts here <laughs> that, uh, that need to be sorted through. So let's think of that. Actually, here we'll do a diode also. There you go. And you notice I put it between pins one and three. And it shows it between pins one and three. So, yeah, pretty handy. Um, like I said, there's a different, few different models. There's one that doesn't have like a, it has like a two line LCD. So um, it's simpler. It doesn't give you the nice drawing. Or it does give you a little bit of a display of the component schematic part, but not as nice as this one. Um, it's cheaper, obviously. And uh, I think there's even some that come in a kit. This one came pre made, and like I said, about 20 bucks. But they're all over eBay. Um, you could look up. Um, I guess like component tester. I'm trying to think exactly. I can't remember exactly what I looked up. There is a little web address on there also. I want to visit. It's pretty simple. Um, it's got some mounting holes, so uh, it'd be uh, possible to make a little enclosure for it, which is what I plan to do. But for someone like me who's got this bag, 
this bag of parts that I need to eventually go through. Um, and I'm always getting more all the time, it seems. This is a great option, much faster and easier than a multimeter. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and uh, we'll see you later. 73.